Okay, so today I got another good quick tip, and what it is is on cylinder misfires that actually feel like they are uh, uh, transmission concerns, where they it's a harsh downshift. You're going down the road, and it's like it, it jerks you, and it feels like it's a harsh downshift, and the reason why is because when it happens, you're giving it a little bit more gas, maybe trying to go a little bit faster, but not really step on it. And you think it just downshifted to the next, uh, you know, next lowest gear. When in all actuality, it was an it was a cylinder misfire event, but it feels like it's like a harsh downshift into the next gear. So this one is a 2010 Fusion, and it's a Sport Edition, so it's a big 3.5 in it, right? And they kept the old style transmission that they had valve body issues. Um, so about a year ago. I worked on this car and I put a valve body in it for harsh downshifts and uh, that was going through all the gears, I mean from 5, 4, 3, 2, all the way down to about uh, to about the 3, 2 uh, downshift, maybe even 2, 1, um, it's been a while, it's been a year and uh, it would down, be a harsh downshift in every one of them as you're coasting down to let's say a turn into a, a, a business or whatever and uh, that that was a known concern with the valve bodies and I put the valve body in a brand new one and it fixed it everything's fine so they bring it back about a year later later about today it's about a year later and they say it's doing the exact same thing exact same thing we gotta fix it you know it's like okay well I doubt it but let's go for a test drive so I went for a test drive so I can actually feel it and luckily it is doing it and um, what it is is it's a, it's a cylinder misfire and it's, it's a random dead miss and not like a misfire a little bit shutter feel it's like a jerk a, a dead miss I mean a, a complete deep V in our, our power balance and uh, what I wanted to go over was just how it looks on there how it feels because a lot of people contact me and they said they got uh, this this concern that concern and they say I got no codes. I'm like, well, that's great But usually there's the you could still monitor it through the the scan tool and uh, You need to go look into it a little bit further Well a lot of independents have a basic scan tool They can pull codes a little bit of PID data, but they can't actually watch uh, the cylinders misfire and luckily for us at Ford we have the ability to do that and it makes diagnosis a lot more easy for me and uh, a lot more accurate you know it tells you at least this cylinder is, is a dead miss so um, we can see you feel it and then you see it on the, on the scan tool and you can correlate the two of them and then from there you got to figure out of course why you know compression ignition fuel uh, why it's doing that dead miss under load so we're going to go through and show you what I did to find this concern and how it feels and how it looks on our little graph we got and uh, we can go from a test drive and I'll show you just how what it's doing uh, because I'm sure a lot of people are going to start experiencing this because with warmer weather these coils are going to start dropping out and they may not be a complete drop out where it's just like a rough ride at all times and all that it's going to do it while you're driving and just be like this out of nowhere it's like whoa you know and it's like what was that and it, it's, it's as simple as a cylinder misfire it's not an actual trans concern Okay, so obviously the first thing I did was I went in and I pulled codes on it, and there were no codes in it. And that's another thing to know that even though your check engine light is not on, there can be codes stored in here sometimes, uh, quite a bit actually, especially on diesels. And uh, they can give some kind of repair direction for a fault that has been seen the last uh, current uh, drive cycle that's been completed successfully. So the next thing I went to was mode 6 data, which is the actual data that's recorded for the last good drive cycle. And we can go in there and we can look at all kinds of data that was recorded on there. And it may give us an indication of what's going on, uh, especially because a lot of times this is so intermittent, this kind of misfire, this jerking misfire, that it won't misfire enough for it to actually set a code. Cause it won't be emissions related so or catalyst damaging so this is a lot of crazy information what we use it for mainly is for the misfire data you can see right there general data and we can start looking at the data here and you can see there's all kinds of uh, different categories on there we got min and max values 
and then the actual value there in the far right hand column. So we're going to go down that cylinder 1 there. You can see right there in the center, 0 counts, 2, 0 counts, 3, 0 counts. And then we get down to 4, and we got 6 counts right there. And we got 125 counts for the other one. So right there, there's an issue where the other one's got 0 throughout everything. You go to 5, cylinder 6, everything's zeroed out. And then number four is obviously giving us the fits, but it's not within that min and max value. So therefore, it's not going to set a light. Okay, I found ourselves a smooth piece of road here, hopefully. And we're going to see I'm taking off from a stop right here. And you can see when you get up to 45 miles an hour about or so, we'll start getting that misfire. There we go. And you're just driving along and it'll just drop out like that right there going up a hill over a bridge here and give it a little more gas to you know keep the speed up and it just starts shaking violently like that and it's all because of a few dead misfires on one cylinder and you may get this right here which is a class A misfire uh, that means that callous damage is possible and or is occurring so at that point you really need to let off the throttle and uh, do a coast down let that cat cool down and uh, get to your destination or home or wherever uh, before you do actually ruin the cat because at this point the cat is hot enough and you are dumping enough rough unburnt fuel from the cylinder down and out and it's lighting up basically in the cat and it gets really hot and there's only so much heat that uh, cat can take so you want to just kind of cruise at a light uh, cruise like this and it will eventually go away once it sees the inferred bed catalyst uh, temperature is lowered and it doesn't see that class A misfire for a certain period of time so that's another thing to watch out for also probably see a little bit better now that I'm parked but you can see there's only a few deep V's right here on that cylinder 4 and it was shaking the heck out of the car. I mean, it only takes a couple dead misses on one cylinder, and uh, your car be shaking pretty violently, thinking there's a trans shutter at times, if not a harsh downshift uh, at times, depending on what driving condition you're in. So it's something to keep in mind, and uh, if you're getting a runaround from an independent shop, and they really can't find it, and they're thinking, well, we gotta change this, before you go any further type deal and it, they're just kind of guessing it seems you may want to bring it to a Ford dealer uh, that has access to a scan tool and this power balance tool so that uh, we can say hey number four is misfiring I'm going to go to the shop and figure out why number four is misfiring it's as simple as that instead of wondering which system on the car is actually causing the shaking and uh, shuddering concern